Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, last night we had our annual summer storm, so to speak. It probably wasn't as big as what I expected, but it was, it was well, just over 50 mil, 55 mil, I think it was. And I don't know, it was about three weeks ago. Um, what we decided to do was put some key line cuts. You can see three of these here. Um, through this section of, of the property. Now this is pretty much our, we've taken a section of the paddock and used it as a driveway. And what we're doing is planting out all these little oaks everywhere. So you can see sticks and oaks and <laughs> there's a lot going on here, but super, super dry. So what we've decided to do is have a look at these key line cuts. Um, yeah, it's probably about three weeks ago. And the idea being is that in that sort of jungle out the back there, we have um, a spillway for our swale. So once that, that swale becomes full, it was then to overflow. And I wasn't expecting it on 50 mil. So I've got, as you can see, I've got so much water still coming through. Um, and that rain pretty much ended. Oh, it would have been about midnight, I would have thought. Um, and look at this, you know. I've got nice, slow water movement coming from these key line cuts. It's overflowing. And then slowly sinking through to the next key line cut. This is now filling up, you know, and this goes for the whole length of the driveway. This is probably close to about, I don't know, six or seven hundred metres. And then I've got a third key line down here. And again, look at this. This is only on 50 mil. You know, <laughs> like it's just doing my head. And this is working this way. But what I wanted to do was just show you the benefits of really what key line cuts can do because as you can see the water has been held in behind um, those key lines and really having the opportunity to soak in um, even on the furthest downside of the key line cut you know I, i'm still super super wet down here now we're in the middle of summer and and so you know the sun will be out today, um, and this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. If we hadn't done this, kids and dogs, eh? Kids and dogs. If um, if we hadn't have done this, there was this would have just run straight back off. And we have a little creek that sort of runs through there, and I've been working with that creek for about oh, 18 months to two years now. Um, as a part of Peter Andrews' work about building up um, little leaky weir dams and things like that. And that's just working a treat down there. So what we're finding is that now that we've got this sheeting starting to come through, I'm really a lot more comfortable and really don't need to spend a lot more time irrigating all these, all my little oak trees that I've got everywhere with all my little star pickets and or well, not star pickets, but little um, stakes that I've got everywhere so we don't hit them with the mower. But, you know, that's a year's growth now. Um, and it's working, you know. And, and this is something that I suppose that I really wanted to take the opportunity to show you that after 50 mil, look really what, and I haven't even ventured into the paddocks yet. You know, this is purely just down the driveway. This will all be gone by this afternoon um, with this afternoon's weather and heat and sun and everything else. But what an opportunity to, to capture some of this rain, really let it soak into the ground, and it is falling its way back to the creek. So that'll all be subterranean, hit that creek line, and then off we go again. So, <laughs> I got that. You know, it's just amazing. 50 mil, this is what's happening. All from the overflow of our swale. <laughs> so, if you ever had a thought about key line cuts and them not working properly, this is where it's all at. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. All right, so before closing.
closing out this video, I wanted to sort of show you um, what's still going on with these key line cuts that we made down here um, on the driveway. Now, what are we? One o'clock in the afternoon. So what are we looking at? We're looking at around about 12, 13 hours after the event of the 50 mil. Now, I suppose what I did forget to say is that the swales above the top here um, were not, I wouldn't say they were full, but certainly may, maybe about half. And so what's happened is that with this rain event for 50 mil, um, and it happened in such a quick um, period of time, is that a lot of the water has been caught up in these swales. And obviously this is the overflow from that, the, 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 um, the swale up at the top there. But, you know, look at this. I've still got truckloads of surface water, which is great. Now, obviously not as much, um, and a lot of it's being soaked up into the soils and things like that. It's, you know, and then what's happening is that it's sort of coming through. There's naturally a ditch here. And this is just slowly sort of acting. This is like a, a almost like a mini swale, you could call it. And that's slowly just passing straight through. Um, a nice slow trickle. And that's just, that's sort of heading back towards that creek. Um, well, that, that, that creek that we've got down there, because uh, that was dry when um, we first got to the place. And then with all the, the, the works from Peter Andrews, we've got that flowing again. So this is now just adding adding to that. So be it all, all subterranean. But what I wanted to do was sort of show you what 50, 50 mil means to us. Now you can see in the background there, those, those hills and mountains and, and things like that. Now, where Fat Cow Farm is situated, we're like at the end of a valley, um, like a culvert almost. And so 50 mil all through there, all funnels into, into us, which is great. Pros and cons on both sides. Now I expected this already to be dry and you know, we've still got flow coming through these key lines. This is not as bad, but slowly I think really by the end of tonight, this would have already already soaked in. And we're sort of getting this even spread, a real thin, even spread of water coming across into, into this paddock here. Now, you know, I think that that's really what key lines are really all about. We've made a deep cut. Now that was just with our pipe ripper um, or pipe layer. And that's a 600 mil cut all the way through here. Now that's obviously filled up and it's all sort of collapsed on itself. And what we can see now is purely just the surface water. All under, underneath is already um, full. And so this will slowly start dropping down and again, moving subterranean. But, you know, it's, how good is this? You know, I'm just like, wow. And we've been thinking about different ways about what we could do here, um, about the irrigation of the trees and, and uh, you know, all, all through this sort of area. Um, Cause this was just a pasture, just a paddock. And we've just sort of really just put a couple of fences up. Our driveway's just over here to my left. And, um, and we want to get a good shaded area through here. So, you know, this is all just the water spreading out. Not more I can say, really, is that the this is now the aftermath of that quick downpour that we did have. So it's really what's happening is that, you know, it's coming from the top of these hills, filtering through our lakes. Our lakes then distribute um, at high, at a, at a high point, back into the swales. The swales then run along, and you can pretty much see a tree line just in front of me here. That's one swale there. We've got a, a spillway here. We've got a spillway over yonder. Now that spillway is running through the paddock. 
and I went and had a look at that. <laughs> that's that's like a full on river. It is full on. So, but you know, we that will be another project to really think about what we're going to do over there. Um, about capturing, not so much capturing, but really reducing the force of water coming through those paddocks and, and spreading it out. Because I think that in reality now is that the days of all day rain, um, really, I don't think is going to be around. You know, we're watching the, 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 the world and it's either huge drought or massive floods. And when we say floods, it's quick belts of rain. And you ne we need to be able to harness those quick bursts of, of rain and turn them into things like this so that we can use them prolonged during a few more days. We've got swales, and well these up at the green pastures up there, we've got those key line cuts. They're all full, they're all doing exactly the same as this. Um, so they're not overflowing like this one because there's no swales feeding them. So that was purely all just runoff. But as we come back down, we've got a swale our uh, most um, furthest swale of the property, that's full and now overflowing. So that normally takes about oh, four to five days to empty out and, and, and seep back into the soil. So I'm thinking if that's, you know, that sort of time up there, this might be something similar um, over that four to five day period. Because certainly this wasn't running at all um, when we made the cuts, this was all just a part of the, when it does rain, what is it gonna do? And so now that we've, we can see what, it, what, it, what it's doing, and we're sheeting that soft water across the, across the grass and across the trees, and absolutely fantastic. So, you know, I don't know what else we can really do. I just really wanted to sort of point out to you that key lines certainly do their thing. And, um, We've got that that stream running through. It's probably a little bit fast, faster than what I would expect. But you know, we've it's certainly making its way through the grass and through the soils. I mean, it's just water sodden all the way through. I'll have to get my lawnmower out shortly <laughs> and start cutting grass. That's the only sort of bad thing about it. But um, but look, we just thought it was an important event that we can show you how this all came about. And, um, and then we can go from there. So really looking at the key line cuts and how it can really work for you on your pastures, in dry spots, whatever it may be. Otherwise, this is water that we would have lost. We've now sort of capturing it a little bit, letting it soak in and then putting it back into the, um, into the main riverways. So like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.